welcome to Project Air this week. Um, Hello again. This is Mike, I'm James, and today we've got a hydroplane. For anyone who doesn't know, a hydroplane is a type of boat which uh, uses lift rather than buoyancy to sort of lift itself out of the water. That means that they're really good for sort of uh, high speed, going fast, that kind of thing. So we're going to see how fast we can make this thing go. Oh yeah, I should add that we did do some tests earlier this week, so um, let's show that footage right now. So I think what the game plan is going to be, sort of float it out, do a bit of a circle, come back around and then just check that everything's okay. Woo. You ready? Three, two, one. Okay, it's floating, that's a good sign. All right, let's give it a tiny bit of power and see how it, how the rudder affects the performance. It seems like the rudder's not doing very much. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be sort of uh, listing that way as I turned. I'm not sure what's going on there, but oh, it was a goose. Oh, yes, that's up on its plane. We'll try and bring it around. So it does seem to be listing slightly to the right, I think. I'm going to have a look when it comes towards us. Uh, I don't know, actually. I think it looks all right. It doesn't seem to be leaking anywhere. No water's really dripping out of it, apart from uh, off the hull. So I reckon we should stick it back in and then uh, do some proper high-speed runs up and down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that didn't seem very stable. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Oh. Oh! I thought it was going to go over then. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And here it is. Excuse the dodgy frame to hold it. Right, I'm gonna have to transport all of this stuff down to the lake, so it's gonna be a bit tricky with one person. Let's get going. Try and jump over this wall. Alright, while I'm here, um, and just getting set up, I may as well tell you a little bit about the boat. But before that, I might just say, such a nice morning. I'm glad you can, you can join me. So yeah, this boat um, took me about three months to make, three or four months. It's made of balsa wood and carbon fibre. Um, the carbon fibre parts are these struts here, and also the motor mount and the, uh, the pylon that, that that sits on. And yeah, it was all designed on paper. And yeah, th there aren't any plans or anything, um, really. There's just a piece of paper with a, a few lines on it to show me where to cut out shapes and stuff, so sorry about that. But, uh, and also, sorry about this noise. There's uh, lots of, like, swans and things over there. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough talking. I'll talk more about the technical details of it later in the video. Um, first, let's get it on the water. I'm going to do some little uh, sort of taxiing tests, if you want to call it that, and then we're going to get right in there with the sort of high speed tests. So that seemed to go pretty well. Um, I thought I heard some weird noise um, when it was uh, powering up one time, but I think it was just the uh, the water through the through the propeller here. 
um, as it gets splashed up from here from the sponsors. So yeah, not really sure, but I'm going to do a few more tests and then come back this evening. So I think I will catch you this evening when I've fully assessed what's going on and we can do some more tests then. All right, catch you then. So we're back here at the lake and now we're about to test the, um, the boat. Uh, but first I just need to show you this with the switch. So what we've done is we've set up this uh, the, the rudder on a on a two position switch so it will when we're going really quickly we can put it down on the sensitivity and that means that the rudder only moves a tiny bit. And then when we want to make a turn, we can stick it on full. With that, let's stick it in the water and see how fast this thing can go. Oops. Almost capsize it. All right, so that was about, I don't know, about three quarters throttle maybe. Sorry, duck. <laughs> oh, yep, that's a little bit twisted. <laughs> oh dear. For the viewers who don't know what's going on, the, uh, the motor mount here is being twisted by the, the torque, I think. So this isn't actually attached. It's, I mean, it is attached, but it's by, fri by friction. So um, when this, when the motors spool up, like anti-clockwise like this, or an uh, uh, what's it called? Counter, Counter rotating. And when that happens, I think what's happening, I'm no engineering student, but this is twisting the motor like this. Now it is quite tight, but I would have, so I would have thought that it would have been fine, but clearly, it keeps slipping under these forces, so we're going to have to be a bit careful when it uh, when it comes to driving this thing. Otherwise, it's going <laughs> to force itself to tip over. Okay. That sounds like risk a risk-free. Yeah. That's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Should we just get some perspective on how far out? Yeah. <laughs> I think we might be a bit stuck. I Currently we're... stuck about 40 metres into the lake. Yeah, something like that. So basically we're sort of going round in circles at the moment. I um... actually feel like it's got further away, but... <laughs> You've got your swimming trunks in your car, right? Feed some ducks, we can encourage them to go uh, collect There are it. some over there, so maybe. Mostly it's the wind which is actually blowing it closer. It's nothing to do with us, really. Better not get a hole in my new jumper. Yeah. Priorities. Doing this in the name of science. Hey. Rather glad we got that back. All right then, let's uh, go back to the studio, have a cup of tea, and assess what just happened. Man, hydroplanes are a bit difficult to get right. This one was uh, a little bit temperamental, but on the whole, I think that we can draw a line under this project and say that it was a success. I think this boat was fairly successful. Um, there wasn't too much that went wrong with it, um, apart from two major things. The first one was that this rudder, this was the original rudder which was on here um, definitely wasn't sufficient and secondly we had the problem with this which was the motor mount twisting under forces now as you can see if I'm trying to push this with my hand now it's not moving but with the torque of these motors as I was explaining this was making this whole mount twist around and that was responsible for getting the boat stuck in the middle of the lake so cheers for that motor mount so unfortunately this boat did actually uh, suffer another problem which was when I got it in from the water on the last test that you were just watching I discovered that there was a lot of water which had got into the boat uh, over the time it was on the lake it took about half an hour to get back into the, uh, the shore um, so all that time the boat was sat on the water and somehow I think there was probably a very small 
gap somewhere and it the water managed to get in. I'd thought that I, you know, I that I'd waterproof this well enough, but clearly I had not. So on the front here, there's uh, a little bit of warpage going on. The wood has actually split here um, and is really uh, a bit knackered. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I'm wondering whether maybe this waterproof seal here is to blame. So how this hatch works, um, this is one of the things I had to sort of think about quite hard to work out how to make this waterproof hatch. But how this works is to um, you have this piece of uh, polycarbonate or just some sort of thick transparent plastic and then I drilled holes into it and then I put these little bolts which screw into the wood under here. So when these bolts are uh, tight the rubber seal around here uh, creates a nice, oh yep that's coming off, uh, creates a nice sort of waterproof seal apart from they're sort of coming off so yeah that might be to blame but yeah so that's uh, a bit of an annoyance but I don't know the next one we'll, we'll definitely do another project like this um, if you have ideas for sort of a twist on this concept or um, you know if you want, want me to make some other sort of boat maybe a hydrofoil or something like that then just comment down below and tell me what your ideas for a project are and I shall uh, read every single comment so um, yeah just chat with me down there. Comment of the week this week goes to uh, Ben Walker who says something about me using duct tape and how that's really good. And yeah, duct tape's brilliant. Thanks very much for watching this video. Remember to give it a like, subscribe if you've not already, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.